Big Al over here at Paler. Let's uh, take a look at Precision Method 3, the Object Snap, and see how we use it. Okay, where's the button for Object Snap? It's right down here. Okay, we can click it, Object Snap is on, click it, Object Snap is off. Okay, or we can press the function key F3 at the top row of your computer keyboard. It comes on, press it again, it goes off. So that's your toggle. So you can toggle O snap on and off with either the F3 key or coming down and clicking it. Okay, for now let's leave O snap off and let me pose a problem to you. I want to make a line from the midpoint right here to the, to the uh, tangent of this circle. Now this is how it used to be done in the old days. Okay, 25 years ago. Um, you would come out and you would type in line, L-I-N-E, L-I-N-E, enter, and then you'd follow the command there on the command line. You'd go to the point, M-I-D for midpoint, enter, and you'd come over here and hey, there's the midpoint. Cool, click. Now go put it on a tangent. <coughs> Can't put it on a tangent. You know why? Look at your command line. Right, you didn't say so. So now type T-A-N, that's the second point of your line, there it pops up, click, and you're done. Okay, that's the way it used to be done. Now let me erase this, and let me tell you about O-Snap. Let's turn on O-Snap. O-Snap's on, if you right click O-Snap, left click settings, you get the object snap menu, or uh, window settings window. Notice you can select them all so that endpoint looks like a square, midpoint looks like a triangle, center is, you know, that that's the symbol. That's what they look like. Tangent looks like a circle with a with a uh, line across the top of it. But I'm going to tell you selecting them all can get to be a big hassle because sometimes these will interfere we, with each other and you will see instead of tangent you might see the quadrant of the circle. So if I was you, I'd just light up what you wanted, like endpoint, midpoint, only enough to get there, center circle maybe, quadrant, I would not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Let's go just a tangent and click OK. Okay, notice O snap is on. So now I can pick up line, click, go over, pick up midpoint automatically, go to tangent automatically, left click, right click, and I'm done, and it's as easy as that. Now, it can be a little more difficult because supposing you accidentally turned off O-Snap, either by hitting F3 or by toggling the button. So now you're merrily on your way and you're looking around for that midpoint. You say, what the heck? Where is it? It was here a minute ago. Well, look down and make sure your buttons are active. If they're active, it's a cinch. Okay? And that's basically what uh, what there is to OSNAP. It gives you a high, high degree of precision. Okay? And there's a whole bunch of stuff that uh, you can do with it. You know, the first three letters, as I showed you, the first three letters that you can type in from the line command are still used today. Like END for end, MID for mid, CEN for center, QUA for quadrant, INT for intersection, so on and so forth. It's a very old method but often used among seasoned users of AutoCAD today. And you may at times find that helpful. All right, so what should we do now? Um, well, okay, well, let's, let's look on to the next method. This is Big Al over here at Paler.